Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uch, and of course, we are back again, once again, with yet another Power Rangers Dino Fury episode review. And today's episode is the fifth iteration, or fifth episode. I don't know why I'm trying to sound all fancy smancy today, but this day, this episode was not too bad. It took a direction that I actually wasn't ready for or not, not more or less i just wasn't expecting it i guess is what i really should say but we're gonna get into it so let's uh actually do just that let's get right into it So this week's episode is titled Winning Attitude and the centers a lot around Izzy once again. And I thought this time around they were actually going to highlight her brother a little bit more, but it doesn't really turn out that way. He did seem like he was going to get some shine with his combat, but I'll get into that later. So really quick to just recap what happened in this episode. Izzy has a cousin. Her name is Lily. She does have Down syndrome and is also her trainer. She also won a Special Olympics medal, which is pretty freaking awesome. They have to find their green and black zords later on in the episode which is very shortly after this scene and they track it down and they figure oh it's probably where they found their keys later on we do get a scene with the comedy duo in front of an audience of children and they're trying to basically teach them to always stay calm and just to call the power ranger hotline whenever a monster comes through but of course when that monster came through they were naturally freaking out and going crazy now the best part of this episode quite possibly is one of the little girls actually came up calm as ever picked up this phone and just started dialing the hotline and every one of those kids actually remained calm it was probably one of the funniest things that i did not expect to be laughing so hard to so good stuff to all those kids so this is the part where i felt like they shined on the black ranger a little bit more with some of his combat scenes but i was definitely wrong as soon as they kind of pointed the camera right back to izzy considering that the episode was centered around her this whole track race that she was preparing for and the dynamic between her and her cousin so after this fight izzy izzy dipped and she went right back to where she was supposed to practice with her cousin but she ended up being really mean to her cousin I'm not gonna lie as soon as i was watching this i was kind of off put a little bit because obviously her cousin does have down syndrome but i felt like the reason why they decided to have this scene was quite possibly because one that is izzy's cousin in the show and because of that naturally sometimes even when you know that your cousin has i don't know a disability sometimes people tend to treat everyone the same and that's it goes right into my next point it was probably the direction of this episode they figured like well if we're gonna have people with you know some disabilities or anything like that that the whole theme and dynamic is that they will treat everyone equally and you know the same would go for people like that so that was kind of what i was thinking when i saw this but again it didn't really take away how uncomfortable it made me feel to actually watch this new beloved character that a lot of people online are having a liking to and to see her like really come at her cousin sideways like that for being late to train her was actually really, really off-putting. It was really weird, like I'm saying. But again, this is something that was a part of the episode. And it does have a payoff later on, which we'll get to. So Izzy's race happens and she has, you know, a pretty decent lead, I might admit. But then she notices that her rival racer actually trips and falls into like this corner of the track they were doing like some like mountain kind of race i don't even know how to what to call it she decides instead of winning she decides to go and help her which is actually is a callback to some of the words that her cousin lily was telling her that winning isn't everything now really quick before i proceed with what happens next in the episode i do wanted to throw in there that prior to izzy helping this rival racer as the race was happening she was introduced to a new person and this new person was actually a girl with a broken leg in the wheelchair and she was actually the friend that lily was helping out shopping earlier in that episode and and when Izzy realizes that, oh, my cousin, who's my trainer, who has a disability, was off helping someone else with a literal handicap. And of course, obviously, you can tell where this goes. Izzy definitely felt terrible about that. Meanwhile, the Rangers are fighting the monster of the day. Um, they're pretty much wrapping this one up, though. They're already going into the Megazord. And I do want to point out that they left a shot with all five of them docking the Zord, even though it was only four for the time being. This is actually the first time we're seeing the Zord with only four positions rather than five on set. So that was 
I guess, something to note. Izzy goes off to approach the villains digging out the Zord. She did hear some familiar noises in, off in the background. And at this point, this the race is still going on, and she's definitely going to get last. There's no way. And I was like, if they really make her out to be some kind of super speedster or something, and she still wins, that'd kind of be really dumb. But they didn't, and she actually ended up finding her Tiger Zord, which then quickly we transition right into the formation of the dino fury megazord claw formation and that looks pretty cool i do like the green addition to the overall zord so i really do like that and by doing so how they how they were able to obtain the tiger zord is he does tell the rangers to lure the monster to where she was at so that the monster could blow up the mountain where the tiger zord was in hiding this entire time and so to finish off the big bad the, they finish it with a tiger fury slash and boom there goes the weasel so like i said izzy does finish the race and last apologizes to her cousin lily and the big takeaway of the show like i mentioned a little bit earlier is that winning isn't everything and to show for it lily uh, as a sweetheart as she is actually gives her medal that she won in her special olympics to izzy as a sign of good sportsmanship. What a great person Lily is. God bless her. And that's pretty much the episode. So overall, I really did think that the episode was still all right, still pretty okay. Um, like I said, it had there was a couple of weird instances with, you know, Izzy being really rude to Lily. But aside from that, episode wasn't too bad. I'm just hoping that with an episode six, they do give Javi a little bit more shine considering that, you know, they did both debut at the same time. And yes, I know that you gotta give each character their time and their backstory or just some kind of centric episode towards them. But it really did feel like during their debut, where it was both of them at the same time, it did feel like Izzy was getting a little bit more shine than her brother Javi, and Javi was just kind of there. Even though he did have his own scenes, of course, he was trying to get that story of the gem, which in turn had both of their keys inside it. And this episode was definitely centered around Izzy with her track race. So I, I do hope that Javi does get his uh, episode as well. Some, you know, well-deserved respect and attention. And I really do hope that it's not on some... I need my money to get my keytar because that's hella lame i'm not gonna lie that is that is hella lame to be a plot in a power ranger episode but whatever and like i said earlier the, the my highlight was definitely those kids i gotta tell you man i did not expect to laugh so hard everything else was pretty cool the five person morphing sequence was great as always i will never get over that dino fury actually probably has the best morphing sequence in the entire nickelodeon era especially if you don't include Include all the master morpher morphs because we obviously know no one's topping that that's pretty much about it guys let me know what you guys thought about this week's episode in the comments below make sure to like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that great stuff and also if you're looking into some fresh content on the channel definitely check out my skit i will definitely be adding more skits so if you want any kind of skit ideas or possible skits overall to be done on this channel please go ahead and let me know in the comments below and please check out my latest skit which is a conversation between what it's like being a manga fan versus an anime only watcher and we're obviously using attack on titan as the example so definitely give that a look also like that as well and uh if you want more power Rangers content of course keep liking this and commenting and make sure you are letting me know what you thought of the episode week to week i'll see you guys later take care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked glitter right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see y'all next time